Invincible, apocalyptic, humorous, no female lead, golden finger, no Virgin Mary, in the year 4025, the unowned capital arrived and major systems around the world collapsed, known as the first year of the last disaster in history. A golden bug unexpectedly reborn into a metropolitan city a hundred years later, by chance, I traveled back to the fifth year after the end of the disaster, under the iron law of no more insects after a major disaster, this golden bug is starting to steal at its limit, I'm not really trying to show off, I'm just looking for the truth about this world. Wait, no, why am I still a bug? This book is non-toxic, please rest assured to consume. Chapter 1 How did I become a bug? You are listening at NovelFull.audio The scorching sun burns like fire, and my heart is filled with a long journey of life the vast sun shone with its scorching light, piercing through the thick layers of clouds, enveloping the already scorching earth with a layer, two layers, and n layers of warmth. In a city called Duyu, amidst dilapidated walls and shattered crevices of flowing stones, there is a golden bug lying lazily. The golden worm is only one centimeter long, and its body size is not much different from the kuan present here. Don't be fooled by the short and small golden bug, but if anyone knew at this moment that there was still a golden bug in such a small crevice in the metropolitan area, they would be shocked and pale. Because ten years ago, there was a saying that after the end of the disaster, there will be no more insects. This is the iron law that people in this world have explored with countless lives. From then on, the ecological chain of nature has suffered an extremely serious gap, and both plants, animals, and humans have suffered unprecedented tests. The human population has even dropped to 30% of pre-disaster levels as a result. But even such a precious golden worm can't help but have its own troubles. Zhuang Zhou has been feeling a bit depressed lately. He was originally planning to start a bad life after finishing his work. But in the moment when his eyes closed and opened, he was forcibly pulled into this strange world by something unknown. Transformed into a bug, or a mutated golden bug, its golden legend is about to unfold I have been dragged far away and forcibly brought to Zhuangzhou in this foreign world. Helpless, I can only choose to accept the arrangements of life. But fortunately, besides the absence of insects, the surrounding plants are exceptionally abundant here. The feeling of being full and hungry may not be pleasant, but it was also a part of his desire to live a miserable life, wasn't it? Thanks to my wise and powerful discovery of such a crevice at that time, otherwise I would probably have to lie on the ground now. As for whether to sunbathe or be sunbathed, it depends on different opinions. I took a very comfortable bite of the grass on the edge of the nest, rolled over and lay on the ground, half basking in the sun. I couldn't help but think of when I had just arrived a few days ago. He suddenly felt that it seemed quite good to be so poorly behaved. When completing the beginner task branch, bask in enough sunlight for one minute every day to gain a little evolution point. Your current evolutionary point is 10,588 points. Several sounds suddenly appeared in Zhuang Zhou's brain. I said if you're bothering me, can't you make a noise at a different time? But it happened to sound when I was eating, drinking, bathing, and getting ready to sleep. Zhuang Zhou said angrily. This system was packaged together with the golden finger after Zhuang Zhou arrived in this world, claiming to be the invincible evolutionary system. However, in Zhuang Zhou's eyes, this thing may seem like garbage. Because Zhuang Zhou knew ever since that even with this thing, he couldn't turn back into a human. From then on, he gave the system an alias called Xiaola, garbage. Ding, we have detected that your current environment is too comfortable. You should work hard and go out into the embrace of nature. Only in this way can you become stronger. I hope you are well aware of it, have some dreams, and add some ambition. Moreover, with your current level 1 strength, even if you are a caterpillar, there is nothing within a radius of 5 kilometers that will be your opponent. This is already the system's end plus one attempt to instigate and encourage Zhuang Zhou to leave this small Karami place. But Zhuang Zhou seemed to have ignored it. I can't be a human, I have to be a worm, still a caterpillar. 
Zhuang Zhou said it's pretty good to just eat and die so happily. After Wani left, he was discovered by some unknown strong person that there was still a worm in the world, a golden caterpillar, waiting for him to dissect and study, and reproduce infinitely. The result was not so tragic that it could be said. The more you think, the angrier you get. Forget it, let's just eat the meat you accidentally discovered yesterday. Wait a minute, you can't eat it all. Eat two pieces, it's comfortable. This is a boring and boring life. Ding, two pieces of raw meat, evolution point plus two. The sound of this broken system echoed in my mind. I can't figure it out. I have food and drink here, but you little trash keeps trying to encourage me to leave. Do you think I'm just as stupid and useless as you? After finishing the meat in front of him, Zhuang Zhou felt it was necessary to theorize with this idiot system. I sincerely hope that you can have some ideals, work hard, and go out to explore. After all, once you go out, you are just sunbathing, and the speed of evolution can be increased by more than ten times. The system saw an opportunity and continued to encourage Zhuang Zhou. Can it be transformed into human form? Zhuang Zhou asked. Dot. Evolution, that's evolution, it can make you incredibly powerful, and even punching a child on earth in the future is not a dream. After the system crashed for three seconds, he continued to seduce without giving up. Can we become human again? Zhuang Zhou asked the old question again. Dot. With power, wealth, and strength, what else are you unable to obtain in this world? Isn't that good? The system began to vent its anger and force itself to speak softly. Can we become human again? I at forward slash plus asterisk asterisk, the invincible evolutionary system began its curse. The impeccable Zhuang Zhou has refreshed its understanding of putting things on display. Go sleep with you. The system said angrily. However, Zhuang Zhou still lazily lay on the ground, showing a mother-like insect smile. You are definitely the worst system owner I have ever encountered, none of them. The system's anger seemed to have subsided a bit, but its voice rang out again. Oh. Zhuang Zhou glanced at the words and casually asked, if you say that, I'm not the only one who has had a system. That's for sure, there were still a few before, the system replied very positively. Maybe there's someone who can be even worse off than me, how do you know that I'm the worst off? Zhuang Zhou asked with thick skin. Because I feel like even a dog is more diligent than you. Dot. This time it's Zhuang Zhou's turn to be speechless. Forget it, why do you think so much? A little bit of Buddhism. If it's not bad, it's not bad. If it's not bad, it's still good. Sleeping is the safest way. After a quiet thought in his heart, Zhuang Zhou closed his eyes and began another day of deep sleep. The remaining half of his body, basking in the sun, continued to bask in the nourishment of the sun, shining while moistening. Half a month has passed in a row, and Zhuang Zhou's life is very regular. Apart from eating, he sleeps and doesn't move his position while sleeping in the sun. He also doesn't know if he will catch a cold at night but the effect became increasingly apparent, as the height of one centimeter gradually grew to two centimeters. As for strength, it doesn't seem like it's what this body should have. Zhuang Zhou was afraid that with just a little force, this rare natural seam would shake him away. You're so full. After finishing a pile of grass by the nest, Zhuang Zhou's body underwent a new round of changes. He has grown taller again, this time reaching a length of four centimeters. And in the personal panel of the system. Owner. Zhuang Zhou Race. Mother Worm Evolutionary Level. Qianjia Second Grade Evolution Point. 600 slash 20,000 Zhuang Zhou could have been promoted to second grade long ago, but he managed to suppress it and it overflowed before upgrading. Okay, actually, I just had enough to eat and forgot to suppress it when I felt comfortable, so I had no choice but to rise. Nowadays, upgrading to third grade requires 20,000 evolution points, doubling the calculation, 
while upgrading to fourth grade should require 40,000 evolution points. The exponential growth requires a very long time for the systematic Zhuangzhou to rise, let alone for those without a system. But regarding this, Zhuangzhou said that I don't care. After all, in this post-apocalyptic era, Zhuangzhou could not become a human. Xiao La, didn't I just have enough to eat? Why did I get hungry again so quickly? Zhuang Zhou's stomach suddenly growled and screamed, and after reaching a higher level, he needed food very much to replenish his energy. Unable to do anything, I had to pull out two pieces of meat from the gradually bottoming meat and swallow them whole. What kind of tough life is this? It's not something that humans can live with, right? It's not something that insects can live with. There is a tiger 500 meters behind, and the taste is very good. After hearing the system's reminder, Zhuang Zhou's eyes suddenly lit up. For him, who was already not wealthy, he had no resistance at all. He instinctively chose to step out of the crevice in order to continue to rot and have meat to eat in his life. The crawling ability of the caterpillar was at its peak at this moment. At this moment, his forehead seemed to possess a powerful force. When encountering stones and broken stones, it was as if they were not stones but tofu. When encountering grass, he ate it. Actually, this grass cannot eat a little now, affecting his royal demeanor. In just a moment, at a distance of 500 meters, he quickly finished walking and said there was no pressure throughout the journey. Chapter 2 Spatiotemporal Chaos You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Wow, what a fat tiger! After swallowing his saliva, Zhuang Zhou looked at the tiger in front of him with sparkling eyes. I'll go. What kind of monster is this? Although tigers do not exercise all year round, they are still very alert, especially when they see something they never know, their first reaction is to want to run away. None of them are human, so Zhuang Zhou could hear the tiger's cursing voice very clearly. What? How dare you say I'm a monster? Shu. Zhuang Zhou utilized his body's elasticity and swiftly kicked the ground, crushing several granite stones on the ground. And then the whole person, no, the whole insect turned into a shadow, and in just one second, it came to the tiger. With a flick of its tail, it easily flew 500 meters and landed fiercely on the ground, followed by waves of haze on the ground. Surprisingly, I dare to say that I am a monster. Today, I will perform a three-mouthed tiger performance for all the officials and masters. Zhuang Zhou, who had already started craving tiger meat, was still making excuses for himself, as if he was just playing here. Clear water leads to no fish, and low people lead to invincibility. The system evaluates Zhuang Zhou. Ah, uh, you can't. You can't eat me. I'm a tiger, the kind of second-level protected animal. The tiger showed its privilege card, and all animals in this world are listed as endangered because it's hard to know which animal will disappear one day. But the tiger still tried to use this to deceive Zhuang Zhou and dispel that terrible idea. What second level, first level, I'm still a top level. This is the only one in the world. Let's see when we can finish eating only one of you. It's a time when even tigers are top dot notch, and I won't miss it either. Zhuang Zhou didn't pay the bill at all. He shook his tail and directly patted the tiger's head, pushing it onto the ground. He couldn't even pull it out if he wanted to. Dragging the tiger while preparing to return to its own nest. Zhuang Zhou muttered to himself, it seems like I'm really a super level. This is the only one in the world. What's not a super level? You can't starve me to death just because of a small second level, can you? Dot. The system felt unable to refute Zhuang Zhou's thick skinned face for the first time, speechless, nothing. Anyway, it was, um, he was great. Zhuang Zhou looked back and surprisingly didn't see the small slit where he lived and felt as if he was a bit hungry. So he quickly dissected the tiger, cleaned its internal organs and fur, and Zhuang Zhou began to feast on it. Just Zhuang Zhou didn't pay attention, 
did the place where he was eating under his feet seem a bit familiar. Ha ha ha. I see how you're still stuck in this little karaoke crevice. The system had long known that the place where you lived had been destroyed by Zhuang Zhou himself, from the time he punched the tiger away, but he didn't say anything. Dang. A piece of tiger meat, evolution point plus one. Dang. A piece of tiger meat, evolution point plus one. The system's prompt sound is constantly ringing. When Zhuang Zhou couldn't eat it anymore and had no choice but to leave a small lump of meat, estimated to be only four or five bites, he didn't feel sorry for not taking it, so he decided to pat his buttocks and sew it back. And his evolutionary point has now risen by 800 points. But at this moment, Zhuang Zhou realized that he couldn't seem to find his nest, and he looked around with a bewildered expression. On the left, there is none. On the right, there is none. Front, not yet. Back there, there's none either. Where has my nest gone? Zhuang Zhou said excitedly. Why don't you take a look under your feet? The system lazily took a sip. Upon hearing this, Zhuang Zhou looked towards his feet. I'll go, when did I appear here? Why was my nest shattered by the smashing? There is no longer the feeling of being above me just now. Zhuang Zhou also noticed that he had just slapped the tiger on the ground where it couldn't be buttoned up, and it turned out to be his little karaoke scene. To be precise, when you slapped the tiger away just now, you had already returned to your own nest. The system is very user-friendly at this point. Son, why didn't you remind me just now? Zhuang Zhou asked irritably. Ghost reminds you, if I let you continue to behave like this and wait for death, I will write the two words, system, upside down. The system thought with a smile, but on the surface, it said, you didn't ask me to remind you. Hmm. You're not very humane, are you? Why are you following the rules now? I know now, are you deliberately deceiving me, right? Zhuang Zhou is not a fool, especially those who have been promoted have their heads spinning much faster. In just an instant, Zhuang Zhou realized something was wrong, after all, a normal script should not be like this. Cough. The system pretended to cough twice, covering up the embarrassment and continuing, you can also find another place now, so you can continue to mess up. Of course, as long as you can find it. Alternatively, you can head to the uninhabited area now, where there is plenty of comfortable environment. The system's Yang Mao is now performing to the fullest, it is very clear that there will never be such a suitable small karaoke seam in the surrounding area again. Xiao La, I really underestimated you. You shameless person. Zhuang Zhou rolled his eyes and cursed. Let's talk about each other. At this moment, Zhuang Zhou had no other choice but to run away and wander the rivers and lakes. Otherwise, let him have no fixed place in this sun and rain soaked house every day. This is not what he wants to live a rotten life. Thinking of this, Zhuang Zhou said to leave without any hesitation. Turning his head and waving his head, he said goodbye to this place where he had been staying for so long. Roaming and rumbling at this moment, cracks suddenly opened up all around, revealing a black nothingness that was not like black. Its calmness gave people a feeling of loneliness and inner turmoil. Zhuang Zhou's eyes narrowed slightly, his forehead furrowed slightly, and realizing that things were not simple, he turned his head and ran. The fool just looked at it more, and now if he didn't run, there would be no way to deal with it. Zhuang Zhou roast as he ran. But soon his head sank and he couldn't run, falling straight to the ground. Dot. How can I feel that my host is a bit smart, but not much? The system saw this happening, and its heart began to roast. This is a one stud in dot a dot lifetime time and space chaos. If this kid is unlucky, he's also quite lucky. The system sighed slightly, is this the rhythm of time travel? In a different environment, the system feels that this kid will definitely not behave so badly. It just can't figure out why this post-disaster metropolitan area will once again be favored by the flow of time and space. Never mind, I just happened to use this power to upgrade. 
This kid's luck is really good. The system looked at Zhuang Zhou lying on the ground, but then showed a worried expression. I hope he can hold on in the face of the disaster. After thinking about Zhuang Zhou's usual actions, his worries became even stronger. The host's personality, which is struck by lightning these days, cannot be cut off by the turbulence of time and space as soon as they enter, can they? I don't know how long it has been. When Zhuang Zhou regained consciousness, he is already in a strange environment. The ancient tree, towering to an endless height, exudes a smell of withered branches, withered leaves, and decay. Zhuang Zhou was full of unknowns about everything he saw in front of him, but fortunately it was not his first time experiencing it. The air is so fresh, the environment is so green. Where have I been again? Little trash, are you taking me away again? That's not right either. If you had the ability, you probably would have run away with me long ago and would still watch me play around. Faced with a series of questions from Zhuang Monday, the system cleverly chose to remain silent. Where have you been? No, no, I'm fine. As my golden finger, you shouldn't be called little trash, right? Without a response for a while, Zhuang Zhou felt his chin and weighed the strength of the system. You idiot, haven't you noticed that the spiritual power here is more than a hundred times stronger than in the world just now? The system sounds like you're stupid, don't talk to me, you idiot. What, by what you mean, are you saying that I have traveled again after being reborn? The people of Zhuang Zhou were all confused. They had originally planned to live a mediocre life and wait for death, but now what's the point? Strength is not allowed, is it? Not too foolish, this is the metropolitan area from a hundred years ago. At this time, the metropolitan area not only makes you human, but also makes you the ruler of this world. Changing that disaster is not impossible. The tone of the system spoke with excitement, and to some extent, it finally had the opportunity to fulfill its mission as a system. At this point, the timeline returns to Zhuang Zhou after entering the temporal and spatial rift. With the disappearance of the crack, the small Kara crack that had been leveled due to the fight, under the effect of the crack, the surrounding stones formed an identical small Kara crack. And next to this little karaoke seam, there is also an unfinished piece of tiger meat. Chapter 3 About Metropolitan Regions You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 4 I'll Steal Home You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhuang Zhou understood the meaning of the sword foot, but looking at the sixteen legs growing in front of him, he always felt that the name was not strange. But then I couldn't help but sigh, running will be much more comfortable in the future. But at this moment, he refocused his attention on his own body. According to common sense, this was just a promotion. How could he even give me so much growth? Xiao La, can you quickly come out and explain to me what's going on? I am an invincible evolutionary system, not a little trash. The system is going crazy at this moment, gritting its teeth. Got it, little brat. The system rolled its eyes wildly, and a message was directly instilled into Zhuang Zhou's mind. It feels like it can't communicate more with this guy. Otherwise, it will anger the system. Xian, Kuan, Tun, Meng, Necessity, Litigation, Teacher, by, Little Animal, Lu, Tai, No, these are currently known as the twelve major systems of cultivation. Then each realm is further divided into nine sub-realms. As for why Zhuang Zhou suddenly grew so much taller when he was promoted to third grade, it was purely because in this world, with the blessing of the metropolitan area, energy seemed to be free of money, and all creatures experienced rapid development. Now Zhuang Zhou can only afford a ticket to enter this world. What level do I need to reach to become a human? This is currently the most concerning issue for Zhuang Zhou. Once you reach the Kuanjing realm, you can do it, and from now on, you will also randomly receive a skill, just like your sword feet. After the system finished speaking, it was discovered that Zhuang Zhou had already begun to shuttle freely through this land. What are you doing? 
I'm hungry, I want to eat until the end. Zhuang Zhou's eyes were firm. Well, in fact, his eyes turned red. He felt sorry for not going crazy in order to become a human again. Under the guidance of the system, he constantly shuttles through the jungle. Ah, help me. Just now, Zhuang Zhou, who had just killed a stupid elephant and gained over 10,000 evolution points, heard a scream coming from him. The human voice is probably the adventurer who came out of this world. If you dare to come here without any cultivation, isn't that seeking death? There are monsters everywhere, which is not something that ordinary people can handle. Shu Shu A person wearing tattered pure white clothes, holding a bow and arrow in his hand, is constantly firing. Not far from him, there was a giraffe with a bloody smell in its mouth. It was clear that it had just eaten a lot of people and was over two meters tall. But the attack of the bow and arrow not only injured it, but also did not pierce its fur and had no effect at all. Puff. After Zhuang Zhou arrived, the giraffe happened to stomp on the person and turn them into meat paste. Feeling Zhuang Zhou's third dot order aura, he suddenly trembled unconsciously, turned his head, and prepared to slip away. Do you still want to run in front of me? Zhuang Zhou lifted his front foot and gently waved it. A ray of light flashed by, and then the giraffe was cut in half and fell to the ground, losing its vitality. What level is this little deer? While eating deer meat, Zhuang Zhou asked. This little guy has just been born, only a first grade, probably hoping to find something to eat on his own. Unfortunately, he met you. The system explains. A giraffe cub provided Zhuang Zhou with 500 evolutionary points. But Zhuang Zhou looked at the panel and found that there were still 27,500 evolution points left to upgrade. I've been eating these dry level beasts all along. When can I level up? Looking at the long progress bar, Zhuang Zhou couldn't help but complain that it was too slow, like a turtle walking. Do you want to evolve quickly? I have a way. I'll go, you have a way. Why don't you hurry up and say something? What are you doing here? If I burp my butt, how do you feel? Dot. Stealing home. The system chose to ignore this guy's shameless behavior. What kind of home are you stealing from? The eggs laid by some special monsters have a very strong evolutionary power inside. Ordinary people may not have many people, but you are different. You can use them to devour them as a great tonic. The system said very insidiously. Shao La, then quickly smell where there are eggs near here. Dot. That's called exploration, you uneducated person, and I'm not called a little trash. The system was completely broken at this point. Three kilometers away, there are more than ten eggs, which should be enough for you to climb to the fourth level. After a moment, the system smirked and guided Zhuang Zhou in the direction of going to the egg. Zhuang Zhou did not doubt that he was there, and according to the system's instructions, he began to sprint. With the strength of the third rank of Qianjie and sixteen legs, this speed is not average fast. Wherever he passed, there was a lingering shadow left, and with the desire to advance in his heart, nothing could stop his footsteps. Wait, something's not right. There's something very wrong with twelve points. Halfway through, Zhuang Zhou suddenly felt that this direction seemed a bit familiar. How do I feel like this is where I met that big snake? It's a bit like that snake's territory. With a frown, Zhuang Zhou stopped. I began to carefully examine the surrounding environment. Ha ha ha. Congratulations, you didn't feel wrong. This is indeed the territory of that big snake. The dozen or so eggs were laid by that dry fourth grade worm. The system joked and waited to see Zhuang Zhou, who had been heavily bullied, go berserk. I'll go. Are you trying to kill me? I don't even have enough of its physique to fit between its teeth, okay? You're retaliating, blatant retaliation. Zhuang Zhou had a black line on his forehead wishing he could fight the system for 300 rounds at this moment. That's right, revenge is real, 
but those dozen or so eggs are also real. Besides, I've already made it clear in advance that we're stealing. What are you afraid of? The disdainful tone of the system seemed to make Zhuang Zhou feel like he had received a middle finger at this moment. What a cunning little rascal, so you're also so cunning. However, the system prompt Zhuang Zhou strongly agreed, so I went to steal the house without breaking the law. After praising the system, Zhuang Zhou began to walk lightly into the territory of this big snake. But with the blessing of the third rank of Qianjia, Zhuang Zhou did not disturb the big snake this time. Digging a hole five or six meters underground, Zhuang Zhou began to dig horizontally. I have a little donkey that I never ride. One day, I rode it on the street to steal chickens. Zhuang Zhou sang happily while digging happily, and soon saw a very large cave ahead, deep and full of bloody smell. Zhuang Zhou realized that he had already bypassed the position occupied by the big snake, and this must be its nest. Quietly entering the snake's nest, I happened to find more than ten glowing eggs next to me. The closer to the position of the egg, the more Zhuang Zhou felt the rich spiritual energy here, which was really comfortable. In this environment, not to mention these bright golden eggs, even ordinary eggs can probably hatch golden wing dapeng. Let's eat. Without any hesitation, Zhuang Zhou directly took out a super large iron pot that he didn't know where to go and prepared to stew the goose in an iron pot. No, the iron pot was filled with snake egg white. After crushing and mixing all the eggs, Zhuang Zhou harvested a large pot full of eggs. Then he drank like a cow, boasting and pouring it into his mouth. Actually, an egg is almost enough to catch Zhuang's entire stomach on Monday. If it weren't for the help of the system, I would probably have to endure drinking for a whole week, and then be discovered and become a meal on the plate of a big snake. Thanks to the help of the system, every sip of egg liquid he drank would promptly transform into the evolutionary point needed by Zhuang Zhou in his throat. Ding, devour the egg liquid of a fourth order eerie snake and obtain 3000 evolution points. After Zhuang Zhou swallowed the liquid of nine eggs, his body had already begun to evolve. However, this time Zhuang Zhou's body did not grow taller, and his appearance gradually changed from golden to dark golden. But two wings grew on his back. The newly born wings are very powerful, enough to take him up to the sky and roam freely. At the same time, he also acquired a very interesting ability. But at this moment, Zhuang Zhou looked at the panel in front of him and fell into contemplation. Owner Zhuang Zhou Race Mother Insect Series Evolutionary Level Qianjia Fourth Rank Evolution Point 0 80,000 Ability Sword Feet, Deformation Chapter 5 Intermittent Brain Stroke You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What did this transformation come from? Why do I still have a pair of wings? This doesn't seem to conform to the theory of biological evolution. Zhuang Zhou was very surprised, but looking at the panel in front of him, the female insects in the race directly transformed into the female insect series, and he felt a little relieved. This is probably the reason for growing two dark golden wings. But at first glance at the point of evolution, Zhuang Zhou immediately felt a bit overwhelmed. With 80,000 points, would the next step be to directly demand 160,000 points? No one can withstand this stepped bonus. No, I have to work hard. The Zhuang style PUA method was launched. Immediately eat all the remaining egg liquid. At this point, the evolution point has also increased from 0 to 15,000 points. Hiccup, although there is a system conversion, after eating so much egg liquid in a row, my mouth and throat still can't bear it, it's a bit disgusting. Zhuang Zhou finished eating and lay on the ground, sniffing his own breath. The smell of blood was really unbearable. Eat dry, wipe clean, and quickly escape just as Zhuang Zhou was about to turn back, he suddenly found himself in an inconspicuous corner. There is still an egg hidden, and at this moment, there is a strong feeling of wanting to break it. Click I saw that the egg was very unreasonable. 
Under Zhuang Zhou's gaze, it suddenly split into pieces and a pure white snake crawled out of it. A resentful gaze fixed on Zhuang Zhou. This pure white snake is covered in runes and seems to have innate intelligence. Quickly catch it, its mutated variety is a great tonic. The system shouted excitedly. No wonder I just said that it doesn't look like its mother at all. It turned out to be a mutation, and I thought someone had an affair. Zhuang Zhou transformed into a dark golden lightning beam, stomping on a pure white snake while muttering to himself. GGGG. The pure white snake twisted its body in pain, making a rapid sound from its mouth. Roar. In just one second, there were bursts of roaring sounds. Damn it, it's been discovered. Step on the pure white snake with one foot, then open your mouth and swallow it. Zhuang Zhou immediately turned around and ran without any hesitation. The huge silver body of the big snake instantly swept the entire mountain peak to pieces. Zhuang Zhou's back and the eggshells covering the ground were all imprinted in the eyes of the big snake. Ah! The big snake began to twitch all over, don't ask why, it was angry when asked. Its silver-white scales stood up all over, and its crimson eyes gradually filled with murderous energy. Wait, I have something to say. Zhuang Zhou extended one foot and made a pause. Looking at the convulsing and angry appearance of the big snake, even fools know they can't run away at this moment, right? Ding! You have obtained 200,000 evolution points. Do you want to evolve? Timely rain, the sound of this system is really very timely for Zhuang Zhou. Immediately, it is confirmed that Zhuang Zhou's strength has rapidly improved again. Roar! Zhuang Zhou let out a loud roar, and at this moment his dark golden body began to shimmer with precious light, with a momentum faintly surpassing that of the big snake. Take the angry snake had no intention of talking nonsense to Zhuang Zhou. The first reaction is to open your mouth and spit out silver lightning bolts. Is this drool or lightning? Seeing this, Zhuang Zhou murmured in silence. Tuo. Subconsciously, Zhuang Zhou raised his foot and suddenly punched. At this moment, his body was constantly expanding and expanding, growing from 5 meters to 50 meters, and his body was already on par with the big snake. Puff. The lightning emitted by the big snake exploded directly, and Zhuang Zhou's feet were not even injured. Am I so strong? Zhuang Zhou looked at his small mountain-like body and said excitedly. Qianjie fifth rank, you can already control your body size. If you want to be big, you can be big, and if you want to be small, you can be small. When used in combination with deformation, you can no longer be a caterpillar. In addition, you have now reached the fifth level, which is the intermediate stage of the Qian level. In addition to your abilities, you have also gained some supernatural powers that have something special about you. The system is in the process of resolving doubts for Zhuang Zhou. At this time, some information about Zhuang Zhou's awakening divine power was also printed into his brain. All right, I'll give you two choices. One is to die obediently, and the other is to die lying down. There's no difference between the two and you have to die. After receiving the information, Zhuang Zhou said to the big snake with a slightly inflated expression. Just looking at the big snake for a while, there is still no reaction. It seems that you still chose the third path and were killed by me. Zhuang Zhou shook his head and started playing the game of a mysterious expert. This kid is bloating again. The system couldn't help but say as it looked at Zhuang Zhou's embarrassing appearance. Since that's the case, then don't blame me. As soon as Zhuang Zhou finished speaking, a ray of light gushed out from his mouth. Qi Gang Wave a continuous golden wave spewed out from Zhuang Zhou's mouth, as if tearing apart time and space wherever it passed. The great snake is just a fourth grade Qinjie. It has not yet grasped the divine power. Under the same level, it can achieve no loss to anyone. But I didn't allow temporary upgrades like Zhuang Zhou's cheating. Who can withstand this dimensionality reduction blow? 
roaming and rumbling the whole earth trembles incessantly with the battle. Qi Gang Wave One Finger Punch Broken Blade These are the three divine powers awakened by Zhuang Zhou. At this moment, the big snake was covered in blood, and half of its body was destroyed by the blow just now. Zhuang Zhou's body was covered in a dark golden light, like armor, which was difficult to break even under the attack of a large snake. The angry snake gradually realized that it was not Zhuang Zhou's opponent and was preparing to escape. But the clever Zhuang Zhou had already realized all of this. Zheng Zheng The back wings spread out like two steel knives. As Zhuang Zhou kept turning and traversing, the snake who wanted to escape was directly blocked and cut in half. The broken snake fell to the ground, constantly twisting its body. Surrounding small mountains and towering ancient trees collapsed with a loud bang. Controlling his body, Zhuang Zhou returned to a height of over 1.7 meters. Is this his previous life or human height? When will I eat such a big bug? Zhuang Zhou felt a great headache as he looked at the body of the snake, which was as big as a small hill. Is there actually a possibility that you don't have to eat it yourself? Can the system directly help you devour it? The sound of the system rings. Is this also possible? Zhuang Zhou was very surprised, but soon he realized and asked in a dark tone, when did it start to work? It's always possible, the system replied. Damn it! Didn't you tell me earlier? Zhuang Zhou cursed and remembered the feeling he had just had while drinking snake egg white, which made him feel a bit nauseous. It's not my fault, you didn't ask me, did you? I thought you liked to eat. The system looked innocent, as if it was the victim. You're so ruthless. Zhuang Zhou's mouth twitched fiercely and pressed his feet against the body of the big snake. With a flicker of light, the small mountain-like body of the silver lin snake directly turned into dust. Ding! Swallow a big snake and gain 30,000 evolution points. The sound of the system sounded, and Zhuang Zhou couldn't help but frown. This fourth-grade Xianjie snake, with its tall body, provides more evolutionary points than the mutated little snake before. Mutated, you all know it's mutated. Where do we usually encounter mutated? This evolutionary point is much higher than normal, isn't it reasonable? After seeing through Zhuang Zhou's doubts, the system explained to him. Got it, little rascal, continue to smell where there are mutated monsters nearby, eggs are fine. I can't find it anymore. It's something that's hard to come by, and besides, there aren't any monster eggs worth selling within 10 kilometers here. Upon hearing this, Zhuang Zhou spread his wings and flew into the sky. So from now on, it's my hunting time. Let me see who dares to stop me. On his first flight, Zhuang Zhou was actually very excited, but he wanted to pretend to be very deep. Actually, it's just packing something, cough. You know. You're really brave enough. Flying in the sky like this in an unfamiliar environment, don't you think it's very intellectual, the system suddenly prompted. I have grown wings. You don't need to have wings, do you want them to grow as decorations? Zhuang Zhou said indignantly. However, immediately after, a giant peng that covered the sky and sun rushed towards him at a very fast speed, which made Zhuang Zhou suddenly feel that, in fact, what the system said seemed to be reasonable. Chapter 6 The Legend of Kuenpeng You are listening at NovelFull.audio I saw that the big peng was covered in snow.white feathers, and its golden gimmicks were wide open. The degree of opening was enough for it to be cute and adorable one by one. Starting from his mouth, he kept making a suffocating sound. Kuen is so big that it can't be stewed in a pot and turns into a bird. Its name is Peng. Zhuang Zhou's mind suddenly came up with such a poem for some unknown reason, and there was a vague desire to try whether a pot could be stewed. But then he looked at his own body again, even if it had returned to its original state of 50 meters, it seemed that it was not enough for Zhuang Zhou to take a bite from the Peng in front of him. 
how can I evolve in this land and still be a caterpillar? The system immediately sensed Zhuang Zhou's emotional fluctuations and sneered disdainfully, now it depends on whether you dare not practice. If you continue to mess around, you'll just wait for something else to swallow you someday in the future. And at this moment, this large and outrageous Kuenpeng had already narrowed its fiery red eyes, locked onto Zhuang Zhou tightly, and then shook its wings, very flexibly approaching Zhuang Zhou through the wind. You're underestimating me, right? All right, I'll show you something, but I don't believe it. I can't cure you even with my newly upgraded talents and powers. Zhuang Zhou immediately used his ability to transform and transformed himself into the legendary Kuenpeng. Then, he regained his 50-meter tall physique and spread his golden wings behind him, preparing to confront the giant Peng in front of him. Give up, you don't even see how big you have become. You're not as big as someone else's foot, your level isn't high enough, you don't have as many supernatural powers, and you're not as big as someone else's. What are you fighting against it for? Take your life. The system said somewhat, and even Zhuang Zhou could feel a sense of complacency from his tone. However, Zhuang Zhou did not expect it again. When he tried his best to fly towards the Big Peng, his emotions didn't fly as fast as they did. Who can this special cat talk to for reasoning? Sleeping trough, how could this silly bird fly so fast? Zhuang Zhou let out a loud roar and quickly tried to use Qi Gang waves to pull and resist the oncoming impact of De Peng. Speaking of which, this Qi Gang wave is quite useful. It can not only shoot out from the mouth anytime and anywhere, but also slowly condense into incredibly hard gold armor to cover his body, making him both offensive and defensive. But this time it was a disaster, when the golden armor had not yet begun to condense. The wings of the Depeng seemed to be unsheathed like a sharp sword, and fiercely collided with Zhuang Zhou's body, flying him ten or twenty meters away. If it weren't for Zhuang Zhou condensing his qi waves in time and stabilizing his body, he would probably have fallen from a high altitude and turned into a meat cake. But before he could react, the Depeng suddenly plunged again, giving Zhuang Zhou no chance to catch his breath. I saw the beautiful white wings of the Depeng make a whistling sound, causing the surrounding clouds and mist to disperse, and with a faint momentum of breaking bamboo, he aimed at Zhuang Zhou and prepared to take it in one fell swoop. You think it's amazing that you just ambushed me? You hair removal base, I'll show you what the sky overlord is and what the bull pie is. After fragmented thoughts, Zhuang Zhou vibrated his wings again, but this time he did not slow down at all. He made a slight use of the wind speed and easily escaped the attack of the Dapeng. This whole incident obviously blinded the people of Dapeng, right? It blinded the birds of Dapeng, how could they easily avoid their attacks? For a moment, the car didn't stop and plunged into the clouds ahead. It seems that Peng's intelligence is not good. Will eating it affect his intelligence? Zhuang Zhou secretly complained in his heart, and at the same time, he was glad that he had just escaped the blow. But at this moment, the system couldn't bear to see Zhuang Zhou so proud. It made a secret move and said coldly, I don't know who was almost knocked down from the sky just now. Speaking of which, you're not much stronger than it, are you? Zhuang Zhou. Dot. Fortunately, he hasn't become a human yet, otherwise he really wanted to expose the system and beat it up. Shit. I saw the big peng rushing towards the clouds and mist, turning around again, shuttling out and stopping straight in front of Zhuang Zhou. The people of Zhuang Zhou were all stunned. He didn't know what the silly bird was thinking at this moment, but it could never be seeking peace. Sure enough, the big peng flapped its wings fiercely. Accompanied by a strong gust of wind, countless sharp feather blades appeared around Zhuang Zhou out of thin air, suddenly overwhelming him. Dang 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 dang. The hard golden armor condensed from the Qi Gang waves on Yu Jian and Zhuang Zhou collided, emitting an extremely hard and piercing sound of metal rubbing against each other. This bald guy. He's really getting more and more arrogant. Zhuang Zhou gritted his teeth and said. 
Although the golden armor formed by the Qi Gang wave is very hard and cannot be destroyed by immense force, Zhuang Zhou had to admit that being hit by this attack was still very painful. Don't give it any color to see, it seems that Baldi doesn't know how to write it out of fear. Suddenly, a mysterious and mysterious aura appeared on Zhuang Zhou's body. The air around seemed to be compressed one after another, appearing very oppressive in an instant. Even the big pen blinked his bloodshot eyes very humanely at this moment, with a hint of surprise flashing in his eyes. However, when it realized that things were gradually starting to seem a bit off and wanted to flash into the clouds, it was already too late. In an instant, the wind and clouds changed color, and the surrounding air seemed to be completely absorbed by something, all condensed around Zhuang Zhou, and then formed a black and white clear gossip formation. A golden void crack quietly appeared on the horizon. And just as this crack formed, the gossip under Zhuang Zhou's feet also shone brightly. Immediately after, the air around had solidified in just an instant. Xiao Xiang, I'm going to eat bird meat today. Suddenly, the gossip on Zhuang Zhou's body began to spin faster and faster, emitting an increasingly dazzling light. With a loud roar from him, Billions of virtual blades suddenly appeared in the cracks, fiercely controlling Depeng to death in the hundreds of meters above. Along with them came the spiritual and physical damage from the virtual blades. Bang! For a moment, a resounding sound struck, as if the entire crust was trembling twice. Lie down, bully! Due to the reason for the upgrade, Zhuang Zhou was able to see very clearly what was happening in the area surrounded by the virtual blade. When he saw De Peng being cut by one virtual blade after another, the surrounding air was immediately compressed to the extreme, producing a void explosion. De Peng had already been cut by the virtual blade and was almost cold. This explosion, which squeezed to the extreme, took away De Peng's last life. Little rascal, is this broken blade so awesome? He couldn't believe that this move was actually made by himself. That's for sure, Xiao La's voice sounded unusually proud, as if the blow was made by itself. When your strength reaches its later stage, the power of this shattered blade can be even stronger, even tearing apart time and space is not a problem. Zhuang Zhou did not respond to Xiao La's words, but instead came to the big peng in front of him on his own. Ding! Devour one Da Peng and gain 20,000 evolution points. Zhuang Zhou nodded very satisfied. If there were such rich evolutionary points every time he hunted, he would probably be able to transform back into a human soon. Thinking of this, Zhuang Zhou vibrated his wings again and continued flying towards the sky with a whoosh. Chapter 7 A Group of Little Bees You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lay Text. Chapter 8. Go to the Metropolitan Area. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhuang Zhou looked at the panel in front of him and murmured to himself, There are still two levels left, and I can become a person. Yes, once you become a human, you can enter the Metropolitan Area, which is the big stage of the human world, the system said with a hint of anticipation as it looked at Zhuang Zhou. Do you? I'm not going. What's wrong with me? I've become a human and I don't want to sleep well. Zhuang Zhou looked at the system disdainfully and said. The system feels both angry and troublesome at this moment. What's infuriating is that this guy is so indifferent to himself, but what's troublesome is that if Zhuang Zhou doesn't go to the capital domain, will he continue to behave poorly after becoming a human? Don't you want to learn about the prosperity of Do You? Don't you want to know why it's called Do You? Don't you want to know the secrets of Do You? The system is gradually inducing Zhuang Zhou to give up the idea of putting things on display. I want to, but when I think about it, I'll give it to you, okay? Zhuang Zhou shook his head as he looked at the system and continued, Yes, I really want to eat melons, but many times I also know that if I know something, I must pay the corresponding price. At this moment, the system looked at Zhuang Zhou with a bewildered expression. Is this still the host he knows? 
After a period of silence, the system silently popped up a dialog box for Zhuang Zhou, allowing him to choose whether to become a human or not. However, facing the dialog box in front of him, Zhuang Zhou fell into a contemplation. He didn't blame the system, why didn't he choose earlier? Instead, he was thinking about whether to take this advantage. Xiao La, at most I can only promise you that when you become an adult, you will go to the metropolitan area to experience and no longer behave poorly, but when you encounter danger or something, I will be the first to leave the metropolitan area. Zhuang Zhou stated his conditions and understood that there is no free lunch in the world. No problem, the system replied with a smile. After the conditions were agreed upon, Zhuang Zhou could not continue to wait any longer, so he pressed the confirm button in front of him without any hesitation. A white light suddenly flashed, and Zhuang Zhou's body began to shrink infinitely. What's going on? Zhuang Zhou looked at his appearance, although there was no change at all, the size had obviously shrunk many, many times. The system looked at him like an idiot, if you want to become a human, with your body over 50 meters tall, how do you want to change? Don't think too much, just focus. After listening to what the system said, Zhuang Zhou closed his eyes, concentrated his mind highly, and went all out to become a person for this time. But one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, Zhuang Zhou was so anxious that he was sweating profusely, but he still couldn't succeed in becoming a human. Xiao La, what's going on? Why can't we become humans? Now it's the system's turn and it's a bit awkward. Maybe you haven't reached the level yet, after all, you're still two levels short. But only the system itself knows that it actually stopped Zhuang Zhou from becoming a human. The system silently sighed, and if it weren't for. It wouldn't have done such an offensive thing, the future would have been bleak. After listening to the system's explanation, Zhuang Zhou became even more confident in his heart. In order to become a human. Chong, the savage beasts on the wilderness of the capital domain, I'm here. Zhuang Zhou once again injected himself with chicken blood. However, little rascal, is there a possibility that there are far more creatures on the ground than in the sky? Zhuang Zhou asked the system with great confusion. After all, this thing can be quite reliable at times. Um. According to the scanning results, there is a giant python within a radius of 5 kilometers. And the level on the opposite side is only level 5, you can definitely kill it in seconds. What are you waiting for? So he kept accelerating his pace of progress. But just a few hundred meters away from the bump mentioned by the system, he suddenly saw a woman lying on the ground in front of him and watching her shout out, Help! Zhuang Zhou felt a bit speechless, I don't know how to say this feeling, watching others shout for help I saw the python getting closer and closer to the woman, and the powerless woman could only keep moving back. Python is like playing with prey. Every time a woman moves. The python advanced one foot. However, just as the python finally lost its patience to play, it suddenly pounced forward. A big mouth full of fishy smell, as if trying to swallow all the stones around the woman. But at that moment, a golden light suddenly flashed and shot at the python like a shockwave. The python's entire head was gone on the spot, and after a few seconds in the air, it suddenly collapsed to the ground. After several hunts in the sky, Zhuang Zhou was very clear about his strength, so he wouldn't be surprised by his move. However, he did not make too many stops, just hurriedly asked the system to swallow the python before preparing to flap his wings and fly high. Wait, you saved me, didn't you? The woman is still in a state of confusion. But Zhuang Zhou did not reply, but stared straight at her. The woman is a bit petite and delicate, standing at 1.6 meters tall, with very white skin and a slightly baby fat face. My whole body is dirty, it seems that there is something missing. Where's your companion? Zhuang Zhou asked curiously. However, when the woman saw the caterpillar in front of her speak, she still felt very shocked. The woman covered her mouth in shock, but there was also a surge of excitement. He, they are all dead, dead in this wilderness. 
When Zhuan Zhou mentioned this, she could clearly feel it, and her body and mind suddenly sank. Where do you come from? Zhuang Zhou asked. Do you? It seemed like she realized what Zhuang Zhou was going to ask next, and the woman simply spoke on her own. We were originally new students who came out of the college to experience, but we didn't expect to encounter several waves of disasters. The big poisonous needle that flew out of nowhere, protecting our senior, was shot and killed on the spot. Then we encountered several waves of ferocious beasts, and my classmates were scattered on the escape road. Now we estimate that all of them are more or less unlucky. The woman was very sad and told herself the truth, her body trembling visibly as she spoke. The woman was really scared all the way, but Zhuan Zhou said that after listening, the corners of her mouth kept twitching good guy, that big poisonous needle. If it weren't for my golden armor to resist, I would have gotten cold. The needle I threw out would have hit you ape feces. Really, monkey dung. What's your name? Zhuang Zhou asked with some sympathy. Fei Zichin. A freshman from the highest academic institution in the city, with a ranking of 10th in the entire class and 56,000 in the whole school, he entered the school with the strength of the first grade in the Qianjie class. Fei Zichin confidently shared all his information and looked very proud. Dot. Hello dishes, you are really good dishes, why? Is this the highest institution of human learning? Zhuang Zhou murmured silently in his heart. It seems that there is nothing terrible in this city. Metropolitan areas provide humans with a protective umbrella. So far, there are only a few strong ones among humans, but there are many stronger ones in the wilderness. Metropolitan areas give humans the ability to confront each other in the wilderness. At this point, the system pops up to explain. Why do you want me to go to the capital domain to experience? Zhuang Zhou didn't understand. There was so much water there, what's good about him going there? You won't be able to level up anywhere, but that's where you're closest to the capital domain. Find it, it can give you everything you want. The system stared at Zhuang Zhou, squinting its eyes. Zhuang Zhou did not answer the system and fell into silence. It seems that after all, we will have to go through such a difficult time, Zhuang Zhou suddenly relaxed his mind and said, but it's still the same. If there's any danger, I'll be the first to run. Don't worry, I'll rush you if you don't run. After all, what should I do if you get cold? The system said, and the corner of its mouth slightly raised. Let's go, I'll take you back to your highest school, Zhuang Zhou said to Fei Zichin with a hint of disdain in his tone. Ah, uh, really? Thank you so much. Also, just call me Xiao Qin. Fizikin said gratefully. She was unaware of this new journey, and Zhuang Zhou was able to scare the entire city. Chapter 9 I Became a Mysterious Grandpa You are listening at NovelFull.audio Let's go, it's getting dark soon. Let's find a place to stay and have some food while we're away. Zhuang Zhou watched as the sky was getting late. Although he didn't care whether he was on his way at night or not, he was carrying a dragging oil bottle with him. Ah. All right. Sure. But where are we going to settle down? It seems like there are beasts everywhere here. Fei Zichin hesitated for a moment before realizing. Don't worry, just follow me closely. Later, Zhuang Zhou carried a drag bottle and walked to the limit. Hmm, hmm, ha, wait, wait. Fei Zichin couldn't walk anymore and stopped, shouting at Zhuang Zhou, I can't do it anymore. You're too fast. Slow. Slow down. Dot. You little kid doesn't understand how to cherish fragrance and jade at all. The system suddenly jumped out and said to Zhuang Zhou. Dot. What do you think I'm doing, you guys who don't know? Zhuang Zhou spoke to the system through his heart. The wheels of the car are crushing my face, ha ha ha. The system activated a merciless mockery. Dot. Zhuang Zhou said he didn't want to talk to them and walked forward on his own. 
you turn your head and see that this woman can't walk anymore. She's so tired that she's almost exhausted, the system reminded Zhuang Zhou. Why are women so troublesome? Zhuang Zhou turned his head and looked behind him, only to see that Fei Zichin was already three to four hundred meters behind him. Is there a possibility that they only have two legs, and you, my friend, sixteen, the system sneered mercilessly at this moment. Although the mockery of the system may sound a bit harsh, not to mention it seems quite reasonable. His current speed, normal slow walking, is faster than that of track and field athletes. Zhuang Zhou waited in place for a long time before finally arriving at Fei Zichin, who was out of breath. You're walking too slowly, it's getting dark when you reach it. Subsequently, Zhuang Zhou opened the dark golden wings on his back. As the wings fanned open, Zhuang Zhou's body straightened upwards and his body size changed from a normal person's height to a height of 100 meters. The four thick and long legs stand majestically on this land. After the last evolutionary increase, it is not unreasonable for Zhuang Zhou to say that it is a humanoid building now. Hold on to me. Fei Zichin was stunned, but Zhuang Zhou ignored her feelings and directly lifted one foot over. After Fizikin realized and hugged him, he immediately spread his wings and flew high into the distance. Soon, Zhuang Zhou took her to a cave. After a familiar flash of light, Zhuang Zhou, how did you manage to drive out the animals in this cave? Fei Zichin asked in great confusion. Is it difficult? First this way, then that, and finally this way, that's all, said Zhuang Zhou teasingly. Isn't it? Not difficult. This is. But then Fizikin saw a giant bear deep in the cave, as high as a small mountain. But this giant bear has already worn a big hole in its chest. Thinking of the scene where he saved her before, there was no need for Zhuang Zhou to explain anything more. Fei Zichin also knew how he did it. It's quite simple, just open your mouth, aim, and shoot. In one go. Can you tidy up a piece of hot and steaming bear meat? Lying lazily on the ground, Zhuang Zhou suddenly turned his head and asked. What are you eating? Ah! Isn't this supposed to be tonight's dinner? Fizikin suddenly realized that she didn't quite understand Zhuang Zhou's brain circuits. The giant bear, due to its huge size, exudes a powerful killing aura all over its body. Fei Zichin unconsciously moved a little further away. Fizikin quietly moved his body backwards. Although it can be said that eating is edible, who dares to take action on this thing? Just that murderous aura can persuade a bunch of people to quit. You don't want to eat it. The bear meat actually tastes good and has a good taste. Zhuang Zhou thought that Fei Zichin was worried about the bad taste and taste. But he forgot that not everyone eats everything like him, and his main goal is not to be picky about food. After finishing speaking, Zhuang Zhou got up and walked to the entrance of the cave. He casually swiped his foot at the nearby small forest and collected a pile of dry wood. At this point, the sky started to get late, and from time to time, we could hear the cries of ghosts and wolves coming from the forest. Zhuang Zhou walked in with a pile of dry wood, intending to start a fire. However, at this moment, Fei Zichin felt an inexplicable coolness behind her, which frightened her to lean towards Zhuang Zhou's side. In her words, it means a sense of security. What did you originally want to eat? Zhuang Zhou looked at Fei Zichin with a magical expression on his face. I didn't say I wouldn't eat. Feeling so embarrassed that his toes could be pulled out of the three-bedroom and one living room, Fizikin suddenly spoke loudly. Zhuang Zhou looked at her appearance and couldn't help but add a little more firewood, and wondered if this woman was sick. Zhuang Zhou gently took a wooden stick and casually pulled it on the ground, only to see the stick catch fire. Fei Zichin looked at this guy like he was doing magic, and suddenly opened his mouth to eat a previous snake egg. Of course, if there are still snake eggs how was this done? After the flames burned high, the coolness that enveloped Fizikin gradually dissipated. Fei Zichin casually tidied up his clothes, sat down and crossed his legs, 
not as afraid of getting dirty as other girls. After the flames were ignited, Zhuang Zhou stretched out his foot while adding firewood and gently pulled at the imposing giant bear. I saw multiple faint sword energies appearing in the air, cutting at the corpse of the giant bear with one sword after another. The invisible sword energy penetrated into the bear's flesh, slicing its flesh and blood into small pieces like mud. Dong 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 As the giant bear dismemberment case unfolded, pieces of meat fell and hit the ground, causing the entire cave to involuntarily feel like an earthquake had occurred. Initially, Fei Zichin thought Zhuang Zhou was a bit powerful, but after seeing this scene, he was still very surprised. So. Is he the indescribable hidden expert in the legend? I don't know why, but at this moment, Fizikin's heart suddenly felt a little passionate and surging. But when I saw Zhuang Zhou using his power to cut the meat. Just when it was used to chop firewood, it endured it, but now it's still used to cut meat. These are a few meanings. Do you know what the foot of a sword is, you intellectually disabled? In its view, Zhuang Zhou Chun is pure. If you pretend like this, you don't want to die. Zhuang Zhou casually burned the bear meat and replied, It's just a convenient ability for me. Ability is mine, I can use it as I please. At first glance, the system felt as if it was quite reasonable. Quickly, after eating and drinking enough, Zhuang Zhou straightened up and walked to the entrance of the cave. Looking at the dazzling night sky, the whole insect suddenly appeared particularly tall and upright. In an instant, Fei Zichin suddenly felt that this was a very tall and upright image, a righteous person, and a bit of a cold hermit beetle. She hesitated for a moment, but then gathered her courage and walked straight to Zhuang Zhou's side. May I ask, what level are you at now? Since you think it's presumptuous, don't ask. Zhuang Zhou didn't even turn his head and looked at the brightest star in the sky, saying without hesitation. Dot. A tall and cold image point one Zhuang Zhou suddenly felt a look of disdain and turned his head to look at the woman. Oh, this woman is actually disdainful of him. Zhuang Zhou suddenly felt the need to establish his tall image. So he showed a serious face and asked, You know so much is not good for you. You just need to know a little. I, invincible. The system was very surprised at how he dared to say this sentence. Fei Zichin was also very surprised at this moment. She actually met a hidden expert. She seized the opportunity and couldn't take off anymore. Zhuang Zhou was also very surprised at this moment, and he had unknowingly pretended too much. Kefi Zichin's PUA has already ruined his mind. I, I didn't know you were so skilled, didn't I? Although I guessed you were very skilled, I didn't expect you to be so skilled. Dot. Watching the little girl in front of him believe so simply, Zhuang Zhou suddenly didn't know what to say. But it was obvious that Fei Zichin had no room to explain to Zhuang Zhou and said directly, Can I apprentice to you? I know I'm stupid, I know I'm useless, I know. Ah, uh, please. Zhuang Zhou looked at her with a clear and clear expression, deliberately lowering his voice and saying, Give me a reason to take you as an apprentice. Because of me, there is someone who must be protected. Chapter 10 Chenkun City You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhuang Zhou looked down at Fei Zichin and said these words, feeling that there must be a story behind this woman. I can't accept you as my disciple, I'm afraid of trouble the most. But after I send you back, I may stay in the capital for a period of time. You can grow as much as you want during this period. Also, I won't get involved in anything about you, I'm afraid of trouble the most. Zhuang Zhou sighed, but ultimately his heart softened. Fei Zichin's eyes suddenly filled with a small heart, okay. With your guidance, I believe I can grow very quickly. Zhuang Zhou feels like something's not quite right, but he can't say why. At this moment, the system sensed his inner question and said thoughtfully, Do you know the grandfather in the novel? Well, aren't you now her mysterious grandfather? Hiss, it seems like what you said is really true. 
After systematic guidance, Zhuang Zhou finally realized the seriousness of the problem. I'm going to suffer. I promised too quickly, I don't seem to know how to teach. You should know that Zhuang Zhou's upgrade method has always been very simple and rough, and he himself doesn't know how to cultivate this lump. Can't Fei Zichin also upgrade by fighting monsters? But she doesn't have a system, does she? Hey, Tongzi, is there anything I can do? I've agreed even if I don't agree. It's embarrassing not to be able to teach. What can I do? Do you think of me now? What did you do when you promised before? The system sneered very much. Dot. Zhuang Zhou realized that he had indeed dug a hole for himself this time. Why don't he think about how to deceive others? The system looked at him with a heartless expression and then glanced at his hopeful little eyes. Helplessly said. But when it comes to solutions, after all, I am not very clear about the cultivation system in this world, so I am indeed powerless. Is it the same as not saying anything? Zhuang Zhou said teasingly. But I know you're in a hurry, but don't worry for now. After you level up and unlock them all, there might be something you need inside. The system did a rare trick and even explained the solution to Zhuang Zhou. Just as Zhuang Zhou was about to further inquire about the situation in the mall, Fei Zichin was surprised and asked, Master. What's wrong with you? Ah. Master. Zhuang Zhou was stunned for a moment. Yes, Master, I'll trouble you for this period of time. By the way. It's getting late, I'll go take a nap first. Fei Zichin saw Zhuang Zhou standing in a daze, thinking that he had said something wrong, afraid that he would quickly find a reason to back out and leave. The next day, when the sun rises in the sky and the sunrise arrives as scheduled. Zhuang Zhou lazily leaned against the entrance of the cave, basking in the first ray of morning sunlight. Good morning, master. Fei Zichin greeted Zhuang Zhou. Morning. Zhuang Zhou said hastily, let's go. We'll start our journey today and send you back to the capital domain. Don't you practice first. Fei Zichin showed her pure and flawless gaze, staring directly at Zhuang Zhou. Don't worry, we'll talk later, Zhuang Zhou replied nonchalantly as he walked out of the cave. Then, like yesterday, he began to expand wildly, like a giant insect-shaped mountain, which actually looked quite intimidating. The whole body emitted a dark golden luster, and a pair of flowing golden wings spread out. With full momentum, the aura suddenly enveloped a few miles around. As the forest was filled with wild beasts crying and howling, Zhuang Zhou paid no attention and said to the stunned Fei Zichin, Hold on to my thighs. Then there was a spread of wings, breaking the speed of sound in one second and soaring into the clouds. I mean, why do you always install it like this? The system could not help complaining to Zhuang Zhou in mind. You don't know, you can have no money, you can have no physique, but when you really need to be strong, you have to be strong. Zhuang Zhou's anti-monster system doesn't understand his gentleness. I, I really believe in your evil. The system said it was unable to roast about this. Then why didn't you find yourself flying in the wrong direction when you were so fierce? Shit. After hearing this, Zhuang Zhou quickly break and ignored Fei Zichin's nauseating reaction as he hugged his thighs. I just felt something peeking at us in this direction, but now it's gone. He's running fast. Ah, what's peeking at us? After hearing this, Fei Zichin suddenly broke out in a cold sweat on his back, feeling very scared. Just a clown jumping off a beam, left, and now we're heading to the capital. Zhuang Zhou pretended to have slightly narrowed eyes and looked ahead with hostility, then turned his head and flew in the opposite direction. The difference is that this return flight is faster. It's too embarrassing. If it weren't for my intelligence and her knowledge that I flew wrong, I wouldn't have wanted my heroic and martial image. Dot. If the system had eyes at this moment, it would look at him as high or low as looking at a mentally disabled person. But I guess Zhuang Zhou himself doesn't believe it. 
In fact, he was just a blind cat and ran into a dead mouse, how did he discover me? At this moment, a mysterious person stood in a very distant place, murmuring to himself. Duyu is a giant city that covers an area of over 9 million kilometers. This is an ownerless city. It is also a huge city with a history of over 7,000 years. It is also a world-class city that was once highly developed in civilization. When the metropolitan area arrived five years ago, the entire world system collapsed, currency, technology trees, and existing systems were instantly destroyed, and people discovered that they had transformed back into primitive humans overnight. However, the most terrifying thing is that people have discovered that not only has the spark of technology been extinguished, but the remaining total population is also less than a quarter of that at the time. However, spiritual power also revived along with it. The remaining people found that they could practice now. In today's metropolitan areas, there are seven main cities that do not include the wilderness, namely Qianquan City, Tunmeng City, Wansui Court, Shibi Hall, Xianua Market, Luoxing, and Taiyu. But it should be noted that there is also the mysterious eighth city, no city. Let's say it's a city, but in fact, it's not. It's a city formed by itself. It is also the only city with zero population. So rumors spread that the metropolitan area had descended here. Countless people once wanted to set foot within ten miles of this city, but none of them succeeded and were all killed. Without exception cities balance each other. That sounds good too. How could it become the ghost we saw before in a hundred years? Zhuang Zhou remembered the entire wilderness he had just been reborn and had not yet traveled through, and suddenly disrupted the system's science popularization and asked. Young people are always impetuous and can't get anything done. The system continued science popularization after roast. Every city lord wants to have the qualification to step into a non-city. The closest time to success was probably fifty years later, when I forgot about someone who didn't know their name. He successfully entered a radius of five kilometers. But since then, he has disappeared. There are rumors that he has become a madman, and there are also rumors that he has moved into the city of No, the true situation is unknown to anyone. But this is all after the disaster as for you, my friend, whether a disaster is an opportunity or an end depends on your own destiny. The question you just asked was actually quite simple. When you were reborn, it was in the post-disaster metropolitan area. What is big? Zhuang Zhou was about to ask when the system stopped him. You don't deserve to know yet. Calculate the time, you still have twenty years left. The system said calmly, all right, you've arrived at the destination of this trip. But I still suggest that you don't show up before becoming a character. The iron rule of no insects after the disaster was once considered a ticket to enter the city of no city. Later, Chuan Zhou stopped five or six kilometers away from the city gate, controlling his body size and shrinking from the size of a worm mountain until it turned into a shape that was only two centimeters tall. Then, with a leap, he jumped onto Fizikin's shoulder and found a place to hide. It's up to you next. From now on, I will communicate with you mentally and I don't want others to know about me. It's amazing, this is my first time communicating like this. Master, you're so amazing. Dot. Zhuang Zhou had a feeling, why is this little girl so good at flattering? Don't worry, master. Just leave it to me. I know you have a special identity, so you're right. However, Qinkuan City is my home, and I am very familiar with it. Next, let me take you on a tour of this city. I don't know if she's about to return to her familiar place, but Zhuang Zhou feels like she's changed at this moment. Quickly, after more than twenty minutes of walking, Fizikin finally arrived at the city gate with Zhuang Zhou. This is also the first time Zhuang Zhou has truly seen what the main city is. Master, welcome to Qinkuan City. After seeing the city gate, Fei Zichin was very happy and said to Zhuang Zhou. However, the system has already scanned the entire Qinkuan city, but it no longer has the ease it had earlier. 
If there are eyebrows at this moment, it is estimated that it will frown fiercely.